Hi folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out the K-Wing expansion for the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. So first off, we'll take a quick look at the model here. As you can see, it's fairly wide and big compared to, say, the Y-Wing. Now I have to admit, um, my Star Wars knowledge is pretty limited to the Star Wars games for the PC, meaning I know like the X-Wings, the Y-Wings, TIE Fighters, TIE Interceptors, TIE Advanced. Uh, with these later waves that they're getting into now, some of these ships are completely foreign to me. But based on what I'm seeing here, this seems to be sort of like a bomber, uh, slow-moving bomber kind of thing. And the reason I say that is because, well, if we take a look at some of these pilot cards here, let's go ahead and take a look at this one, for example. You've got a uh, low attack which is uh, two here, but you can fire it in a 360 degree firing arc, which is pretty cool. You've got one agility, which is why I think it's a bomber, and um, you can even see on the very bottom of the card there all of those munitions that you can put on it. You've got proton torpedoes, missiles, bombs, that kind of thing, turrets. Yeah, that's kind of weird. The fact that you can put a turret on top of this card, even though it can fire in 360 degrees already, you can even add a turret uh, to add even more oomph to it if you want to, which is pretty cool. And you may want to do that because secondary weapons, you know, can uh, sort of avoid the whole range 3 uh, limitation when it comes to the extra defense dice. But anyway, getting back to this. Uh, her Miranda Doni here, uh, again, I don't know who she is, but... Once per round when attacking, you may either spend one shield to roll one additional attack die, or roll one fewer attack die to recover one shield. So that's pretty interesting. You can play around with your shields a bit in order to give yourself um, either a debuff or a buff, you know, depending on which way you want to go. Uh, you've got a focus, target lock, and a slam action. Now the slam action is pretty unique, and I'll get into that later. It has to do something with... Uh, well, basically, they're limited maneuverability. Um, for example, if you take a look here real quick at what their maneuvers are, you'll notice they don't have a 4 or 5 or anything like that. No red maneuvers, mind you, but 1, 2, and 3, that's it. These are very slow-moving vehicles. However, uh, with the slam action, it'll allow them to um, move again. Uh, well, I'll get to it, but it basically it allows them to use an action to move again, but they won't be able to fire that round. And that's what this uh, no-fire token is all about. Some new tokens come with this expansion. Um, I think I showed you this in the last expansion uh, video I covered, the TIE Punisher. These are extra munition tokens, and those go along with these upgrade cards over here. And you've got this, uh, I think this is an ion bomb and uh, some type of net, but again, that's, that involves the upgrade cards. We'll get to that. Let's get back to these pilot cards real quick, and let's let's go into this one here. Uh, we've got um, a Seagate Tuketu. Oh my goodness! Pilot skill of six. Same stats there. Uh, lots of haul. Pretty good shields. When another friendly ship at range one or two is attacking, it may treat your focus tokens as its own. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh, again, all those munitions down there are pretty cool. Uh, it looks like there may even be a crew down there, too. It's kind of hard to see. Pilot skill of uh, 6 and cost of 28. So that's pretty cool. Uh, then we've got a standard run-of-the-mill Guardian Squadron pilot. Cost of 25 points. And as you can see, uh, same string of um, upgrades down there. Just no special ability. And then finally, uh, Warden Squadron Pilot, Pilot Skill of 2, same thing, cost of 23. Alright, so the Slam Action. Okay, now these other reference cards reference things that we really don't need to worry about. Bomb tokens, ion modification, turret weapons, but the Slam Action, um, to slam, choose and execute a maneuver on the ship's dial. The chosen maneuver must be the same speed as the maneuver that ship executed this round. Then, assign that ship a Weapons Disabled Token. So, um, a ship with a Weapons uh, Disabled Token assigned to it cannot perform attacks. Weapons Disabled Tokens are removed during the end phase along with Focus and Evade Tokens. Performing a Slam Maneuver counts as executing a maneuver. A ship cannot perform a Slam as a free action. So this is pretty interesting, i got to say. So you can use the Slam action again instead of uh, taking the... Uh, focus or target lock, you can slam and move really far ahead or, you know, get yourself in a really good position by moving potentially six. Again, you could do like, say, three straight and then perform a slam action and then, uh, you know, do something else at the three 
range or the three speed and uh, you know get yourself in a good position up close and then on your next turn you could shoot off some maybe proton torpedoes or whatever the case may be. So that's the slam action for you and again these are the reference cards I'm not going to get into. Um, one cool upgrade card that comes with this, the twin laser turret. It uh, has three attack dice associated with it, range two to three. It costs six upgrade points though. Attack, perform this attack twice even against the ship outside your firing arc, which is pretty awesome. Uh, each time this attack hits, the defender suffers one damage, then cancel all dice results. So at most, you'll get two damage uh, whenever you use this card. But there may be some instances where you may want to do that. Acts a little bit like the ion uh, turret does, but instead of an ion token, it just it, you can attack twice with it, and uh, you do one damage each time you're successful. Again, that's really cool. And there's two upgrade cards in here, so you can, even though there's only one ship, you can put that on some other ship, which is really cool. You've got plasma torpedoes. I do believe I covered this in the Type Punisher video. I'll go over it again anyway. Four attack dice, range two to three, upgrade cost of three. You have to spend a target lock to perform this attack. If the attack hits after dealing damage, remove one shield token from the defender. Uh, you've got the advanced homing missile. Again, I believe I saw this in the Type Punisher. Three attack dice, range of two, target lock needed. If the attack hits, deal one face-up damage card to defender, then cancel all dice results. Okay. Okay, Bombardier. Uh, when dropping a bomb, you may use the two template instead of the one template. Pretty cool. Connor net, that's what that's called there. All right, as an action, you can discard this card to drop one Connor net token. When a ship's base or maneuver template performs, or overlaps this token, rather, this token detonates. And I'm pretty sure there's a reference to that in here, and I'll get to that in a minute. Extra munitions, we went over this again in the TIE Punisher video. It basically gives you one extra of every ordnance that you've loaded onto your ship. Pretty cool. And then Ion Bombs, again, did cover this in TIE Punisher. Um, whenever you reveal your maneuver die, you may discard this card to drop one Ion Bomb token. The bomb, uh, this token detonates at the end of the activation phase. And then your advanced slam. So you can equip this to one of your K-Wings, which is pretty cool. Well, sorry about that. I heard some noise downstairs, and it turns out the washing machine was unbalanced. But anyway, uh, Advanced Slam. You can equip this to one of your K-Wings here. And after performing a slam action, if you do not overlap an obstacle or another ship, you may perform a free action. So that's pretty cool. So that, that's one way to get around... Um, you know, moving your ship into a position but not being able to fire, but at least you could take an action. You could, you know, get a target lock, say, on the uh, enemy ship, and then on the next round you can fire on it using a target lock and maybe even a focus token if you, you know, perform a green maneuver after that. So that's pretty cool. Advanced slam. And let's see if there's any reference in here to the, okay, here we go, Connor net. The Ion Bomb Token, uh, when the Bomb Token detonates, each ship at range 1 of the token receives two Ion Tokens, then discard it. Connor Net Token, when this bomb detonates, the ship that moved through or overlapped this token suffers one damage, receives two Ion Tokens, and skips its Perform Action step, then discard this token. That's a pretty nasty one. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it. Again, this is the uh, maneuvers it can do, but it does have that slam action. Um, I'll be looking forward to trying this out on the battlefield. I'm not going to cover all these other tokens. You know what shields are by now. You know what critical and ion tokens are by now. But, uh, just, you know, these generally uh, reflect the ship class in question and what it can do. So, I guess with that being said, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.